everybody, it's teacher Sarah here, and I just wanted to take a moment and do a quick tutorial on Ding Talk. Ding Talk is our new way of communicating with the staff in Beijing for Magic Ear. So if you haven't already gotten it or you don't know how to use it, I hope that this is going to be helpful for you on figuring things out because we are no longer using Skype. All right, so of course here I have the Ding Talk website pulled up. It's www.dingtalk.com. This is so you can go and download the desktop app to your computer. You can also log um, log into your Ding Talk account. You can sign up for Ding Talk, etc. here. Um, there's also an app that's available on your phone, and I'll do a quick tutorial on that probably as well. All right, so I have already signed up for Ding Talk. I've already downloaded it. So what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and open Ding Talk, and it's going to be this icon here that kind of looks like um, a wing in a way. So we'll just go ahead and click on that and bring it up. All right, so you can see here that it is kind of looks like a email client almost in a way if you have a desktop email client. So uh, Ding Talk is actually really easy, guys. Once you kind of know where to look for things, it's super, super simple. So the one important thing about Ding Talk is when using it with magic ears, there is not a way for you to add them. They are going to have to add you. So once you sign up for Ding Talk, you need to send them an email to communication at mmears.com and let them know the email address that you used when you signed up for Ding Talk and also the phone number that you used when you signed up for Ding Talk. They are going to need your country code for your phone number. And some people have asked, what is your country code? Your country code is simply that number that's in front of your area code when you are dialing a number. So if you live in the United States, of course, that's going to be one. Like, for example, it'd be one, whatever your uh, area code is, blah, blah, blah. And then your phone number, blah, 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 dash, blah, 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 blah. So um, just send them that. They'll get you added. Um, if you're having any issues, of course, feel free to... Um, you know, post in the Facebook groups and one of our admins will do our best to help you out. All right. So you open Ding Talk. It's up. Um, there are your messages. It looks like a little kind of text bubble. There are your dings. There are contacts. There are calls. And then there's some other stuff that we are not going to be using. Um, one cool thing about ding is if you will click on the little icon that has like a push pin, it's going to pull up this ding sub menu. And I know that there's kind of been some panic over dings that magic ears is sent out because sometimes they'll pop up and then they disappear and you don't know where to find them. This is where you're going to find them guys. So that little push pin kind of looks like a notepad behind it. That's the icon you want to click on and that's going to bring up this little sub menu for ding. And if you will just go to the push pin icon, it's going to pull up all of the dings that magic ears has sent out. So I'm, of course I have all of them um, that they've sent so you can go there you don't have to worry about oh no I didn't see it I didn't read everything it's gone forever or I wish I could go back and look at that but I don't know where it is this is where it is but for contacting the company regarding um, cancellations or any kind of issues you're having, you are going to want to go to the messages tab. And that is going to be that little kind of conversation type bubble with the three dots on it. It's the top of this um, icon menu here. So you can click on that. There is this handy dandy search thing. You can type in anything and it will pull it up. So you could type in cancellation, you could type in class support, you could type in tech support, you could type in standby, or, and it will pull it up that way, or you can go to your contacts. And you'll see here, here's Bonnie in our Magic Ears logo, and it says Hong Kong Magic Ears. So once they've added you, you'll be able to see this under your contacts. And you want to go to select from hierarchy. Now, with Ding Talk, there's no other teachers that are added. You'll see you're in the Magic Teaches One group, and it's just you. But to contact the company, you want to go to select from hierarchy, and you're going to see many, many contacts here that you could use for all different kinds of things. So standby support, of course, is if you're doing standby classes, you click that I'm here standby button, and then you can just click this 
standby support, a quick message just saying, hey, I'm here if you need me. And this is going to be what they're going to use to contact you to let you know if they need you to enter a class. Cancellation, that would be if you need your classes transferred due to illness or emergency. Tech support, that's pretty self-explanatory. Class support, this is for, of course, if you're having issues in a class, something weird's going on, you can contact them. Of course, we still want to be reporting inside the platform in the classroom. Click that help button and select your option, okay? Teacher development, one, two, three, four. Those are those lovely people that work so hard to make sure that we are um, doing the best we can do as teachers. You can contact them there and then ME Recruiter to ME Recruiter. What we would need are the top for the standby support, cancellation, tech support, and class support. Those are going to be the ones that you would use the most um, most frequently. You can click on it, like for example, here's standby support. It brings it up. You click send message, and it will bring up where you can type your message and send it, and they can talk to you. It's just a, like a little chat window, just kind of like Skype was. So like I said, though, um, if you don't even want to have to mess with going to contacts, you can click on that messages icon and type in standby and it's going to pop up standby support and then I can click on it and because I've already had messages with them it's going to take me to that message window. All right guys I really hope that this has been helpful Um, if you have any questions of course please don't hesitate to ask in one of our Facebook groups send an email to the company um, you can message me on Facebook guys um, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. It really is. Once you kind of get the hang of it, it's very, very easy to use and navigate. Um, I personally have it up on my computer at all times um, when I'm teaching. So that way it's there. It pops up. If for some reason they need to message me, I need to message them. Um, you can use your phone. Um, but I've just found having the desktop app when I'm teaching to be easier. And then I have the phone app for anything that they might send out when I'm not at my computer. All right, guys, I hope that this has been helpful. And like I said, I'll try to do one on the phone app as well if I can figure out how to screen record that. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Happy teaching.